At the age of 94, seasoned actor George Maharis passed away on Wednesday. He was most recognized for his work on vintage television programs including Fantasy Island and Route 66. Close friend Mark Bahan paid homage to George by writing on Facebook. George is well known for his stardom in Route 66, stage productions, singing, artist, and above all a great guy would do anything for anyone. You are much missed, my dear buddy. George's biggest break came in 1960 when he was cast as Buzz Murdoch on Route 66, a popular police procedural that was a spin-off of Naked City. He served as the sidekick to series stalwart Martin Milner, who died in 2015, and portrayed Todd Stiles, the protagonist who drove his Corvette convertible across the country after graduating from college. The characters of Todd and Buzz were followed by Route 66 as they encountered various roadside adventures. Jack Kerouac in Spared Hip Swagger was epitomized by George's character, although he was ultimately forced to quit the show in season 3 owing to an infectious case of hepatitis. Maharis remarked, in reference to his departure in 1963, I have to protect my future. If I continue moving forward at this rate, I'm a fool. You can't purchase another liver, not even with $4 million in the bank. Even though he only spent a short time on Route 66, Maharis received an Emmy nomination for his performance there in 1962, and the show's popularity dipped when he left. His departure has been the subject of some controversy. The show's producers assert that Maharis intended to violate his agreement to create movies, but his biographer, Karen Blocker, blamed homophobia. When they discovered Maharis's sexual orientation, she claimed, the producers felt betrayed and tricked and they never trusted him again. They may have communicated better and come to an agreement in a less homophobic period. George is said to have had issues with his sexuality in Hollywood, like many other stars of his time who were secretive. In 1967 and 1974, respectively, he was detained for having sex with guys in bathrooms. After Route 66, Maharis had a career in movies, playing leading roles in comedies like Quick, Before It Melts 1964 and science fiction movies like The Say and Bug 1965. George made a lot of movies during his prime in the 1960s, and he ultimately made a brief comeback to television in 1970 with a show called The Most Deadly Game. He then made history by becoming one of the first famous people to appear in Playgirl magazine's July 1973 edition in a nude posture. The veteran of Hollywood also followed other interests, including side jobs as a musician and an impressionist painter.